Hi guys, Steph here. What have we got for you today? We've got for you a gorgeous, nice pen. Hey, <laughs> there we go. You can see what it is there. What we've got for you here, nice and simple, is, well, a pen I don't think I've ever reviewed. I don't think I've ever had one of these. Um, although this is one of the modern versions, I would prefer the vintage ones, but they are difficult to find. But what we have here is a Conklin Durograph fountain pen comes in this lovely colour and the colour is called amber so it does actually look like the material amber it's actually got a nice sort of sheen to it sort of a, a little bit of a glitter but a lovely lovely colour okay you can see it comes with chrome trim it's got this chrome band to the bottom here it's got a chrome cap band and it's got a chrome clip to the top there this sort of teardrop clip and to the very top there it says Conklin established 1898 now Conklin very briefly um, as it says on the top there established 1898 the conklin pen company um well one of the most significant uh american pen manufacturers um from that period up to today and yeah they were founded by a gentleman by the name of roy conklin in toledo ohio in the USA so an American fountain pen made by an American pen manufacturer as I said they made some lovely vintage pens this one as I say a little bit on the modern side um, I think it may even be available today um, if we take you up to the the cap band, I don't know how clear it'll be. It says Conklin. And then if we turn it round, it has the word Durograph on the cap band there. Okay, so a Conklin Durograph fountain pen in this lovely amber colour. Now, the size of this pen capped is around about 140 millimeters cap so it's quite a nice size pen around the barrel it's a nice 13 millimeters in diameter so a nice quite a large size fountain pen i would say now if we unscrew the cap for you there Okay, let's give you a couple of different angles. In lovely condition. Yeah, ready to go, basically. As I say, unfortunately, although I actually love the colour, it's just a little bit on the modern side for me, as I'm a vintage pen man. You can see the section there, slightly concaved flares out towards the nib and then if we show you the nib okay we've got a steel nib i believe this is a number six nib and it reads well to the center there you can see it's got this sort of gold accent with the word conklin inside then just below it there it says toledo and then just below that we've got the word USA and then just to the right of the shoulder hopefully you can see it there it's got the M for medium so a lovely size nib there's a sideways view for you there's the sort of rather modern 
feed underneath there. You can see it's got these fins underneath. But yeah, a lovely sized, a lovely sized nib. And as we've just mentioned, lovely size. I've got large hands, and even with my large hands, it's a very comfortable pen to hold and to write with. Now, <coughs> excuse me, with it being a modern pen, if we unscrew the barrel for you, there we go. We've got this converter inside inside the pen now whether it's actually a cartridge converter i'm not 100 percent sure but i know it, as you can see there we've got this converter and the nice touch with this pen um sort of my personal favorites and i believe cross did them as well is this one actually unscrews like so you can see it's got a little thread there to the converter. So I do like these screwing converters. I don't know why everybody doesn't make them, but there we go. Okay, so the converter screws in, as you can see there, ready for the new owner to fill with their favourite, favourite ink. Let's screw the barrel back on. And there we go. And you'd be ready to go off and do some writing. Now what we'll do, as I say writing, I'm not going to fill the pen because in my opinion, it doesn't appear that the pen's actually been used. But just out of interest, let's see how the pen writes. So let's dip it in our ink here and see how it writes. So what we've got is a Conklin, as we said, a Joro, a Conklin Jorograph, and it comes with this. I think they call it a lightweight resin. Okay, in in amber, in an amber colour. It actually writing very nicely as we've just mentioned made in USA there's no flex to the nib <coughs> excuse me again but as we can see there writing very nicely indeed as it says with a medium medium nib so although it's a modern pen in my opinion <coughs> oh, excuse me got a bit of a cough on so in my opinion although modern writing very nicely indeed shame it doesn't come with the original box but in all intents and purposes as far as I can see, the pen's never been used. It's in superb condition, excellent condition. And yeah, what we'll do, we'll try and find a new home for it. I'm sure there's people out there that like these, these sort of modern Conklin pens. As I say, repeating, I'm more of a vintage pen. I would like to sort of, I wish I could find some of the vintage Conklin pens, but... As I say, unfortunately, when I'm out there searching, I can only purchase what I find. So there we have it. A lovely Conklin Jorograph fountain pen in amber. Quite modern, sort of, yeah, I, I believe maybe still available. If not, sort of what, you know, 2020s maybe onwards, something like that, dated. But a lovely pen. Incidentally, although this is the first Conklin that I've ever sort of shown you, reviewed, like British buses, you wait quite a while and all of a sudden two turn up. I've actually got another Conklin which I'm going to review for you. So keep, keep watching. 
So, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget to down below subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you will. Um, don't be shy, subscribe. But for now, I'm going to say Slavo Krijini from me and this lovely pen. I'll just say bye-bye for now.